What is up guys and gals? Today we have a Pen Fierce 3 6000 Live Liner that's having some trouble with the rear drag on it. The Live Liner feature works, but the rear drag does not loosen or tighten. So we're going to find out why that is and how we can fix it. So, to get to here, we're going to remove that handle and this side cover. I'll kind of speed through this part, but then when we get to here, I'll slow it down again. Let's go ahead and pop this up. Let me use this as leverage to kind of rock it up. Huh. Not so bad looking. Now we're going to pull that crosswind block all the way down and undo this screw. Just so we can get that spool out of there. Out that comes and now we can just pull this straight up just like that now I'm sure that the problem is right here so we're going to break this down I'll kind of unstack this to see what's going on some things that might leave intact but I want to see mainly down in here what's happening there Inside the wheel doesn't look that bad. I'm just going to take that off, just to have it off. Kind of gets in the way. Let's see if we can pound that out. Alright, let's use our tweezers to get these things out. Let's just do it from here like that instead. I'm just going to kind of lay these things out the way they're going to come. This is unlikely the problem, but I believe some of these washers need to be above here. So we'll see what's going on there. It may be, it's possible that the customer broke this thing down himself and maybe just put it back in incorrectly. Who knows? Because the problem, in my opinion, was going to be this part here. And let's see if that turns. Yeah, and that doesn't turn. Okay, so all we got to do is free that up. And I know that's, I'm, I'm saying all we have to do is free that up. It's not necessarily that easy. It feels like... It feels like... Okay, I thought I, I thought for a second there that that was some burnt rubber, but I think that's something else because I saw some down here as well. If you look right there, just a lot of crud. So bottom line is this is locking up; it's not moving. Let's see if these tines are bent. No, they're good. So that's good. So we'll work on taking that out. All right, I need you all to keep a secret. I can't find what I normally use, so I stole or repurposed this cake knife from the kitchen. So all I'm doing is sticking that in there just to get it in a gap across from one another. I'm gonna turn it. Now I don't remember which way is up, so we're just gonna turn both ways. Ugh. Okay, that's not moving, so I am going to... Hold on one second. 
Now it's still not coming out, but basically what we're doing is trying to unscrew that metal piece just to back that up. So a good way to figure out how this metal piece in the middle comes up and out is that if you're turning it this way, let's say everything's pulled back together in a reel and you're turning this knob this way, that's tightening the reel. So essentially that's working its way up. And if you're turning it this way, that's working its way down. So obviously it's going left to go down and loosen and then right to go up. So we're going to go right to go up because this way is bringing it backwards to go down. So we're going to be turning it right to get that metal piece up and out of there. So I'll come back to you when I have some progress. We got it to move. Let's see if I can continue with this so you can see it moving up. Let's take a look at this when we get it out of there. And this is quite a common issue with live liners. Basically what happens is the customer opens it up too wide, somehow it gets locked down there and you can't, can never tighten it back up or vice versa. It's just all the same. So I'm going to clean this stuff up, just kind of brush it off and then reset everything just to test it out with you guys on the on the video to make sure that it works all right everything's set back up the way it should be there was a part in there when i took it apart that i said it looks like it may have been taken apart before and put back in incorrectly that's true but believe me when i tell you that was not the case or that was not the reason per se as to why this wasn't working so now it should be working this is all the way at the bottom we're going to turn it to get it tight and backwards to loosen it. So live liner is on, very loose, very loose. We can see that. Then we're gonna turn it and we should feel this get tight. And it just got tight right there. And now we have tighter live liner. So it works, great. <laughs> 